Thomas, and he couldn't get the second pump to go up and in on that one. I don't think he needed the acrobatic shot. He should have gone right through the arms of Pollard to try to get to the foul line. Maybe even take it up for a dunk. Yes. Giannis on the rebound. So let's take it with them. 9-24 until halftime. 26-19. Fans, something to cheer about. Ryan Miner right here at the top of the key is going to come up and then break back door to try to get a high lob pass over the top. But he's able to get the ball in his hands and fails to take it up and score and finish the play. But you have to like what they're trying to do. The Jayhawks are overplaying. You want to take advantage and try to get those backdoor shots. In fact, Scott Pollard probably is glad that he did not go for the jam because Scott already has an early foul in this game and would not like to pick up his second. And Oklahoma has to call a timeout. KU covered him like a blanket and they could not make the inbounds pass, so we'll go away with them. timeout they could not make the inbounds pass did not want to suffer a turnover and Barnes will try it again this time successfully out to Curry Barnes for three Curry with the foul Calvin Curry only took one shot in the previous meeting between these two teams and made it three points against Kansas and now he's already equaled that. He has to continue to look for his shot. Well, Billy Thomas got the pass in a great spot. Lost the handle, so he came back out and hit a three. Oh, my. I think I'm a little too close to the basket. Why don't I step back out? I can't shoot this rarefied air underneath. Players on the playground will yell, layup. Well, it cuts it to a six-point game. Kansas in three-point range is 5 of 11. That is a fine shot by Fowler, who's off balance and going against the grain, so to speak. Prince Fowler had shot written all over his face when he got the ball in his hand. Three rebounds for Miner now, plus the eight points that he has in the first 12 minutes of this ball game. Sooners have done a terrific job with limiting the Jayhawks to just one look at the basket. That's what you have to do. Well, Prince Fowler has a habit that he brings back from high school, and that is he lifts one leg almost like a, a batter in the batter's box sometimes. Going to take a big swing, and that time one of the officials said, no, nope, you lifted that and the other one, and it cost him a turnover. He lifted his back foot before he put the ball on the floor. Travel, but he has a great move. He just has to establish the dribble before he lifts that back foot. It works well for a stair, or did, but not for foul. Yanish gets the violation. Chuck Boss seems to be struggling with his outside shot. That way he seemed to lose slightly and shoot it off the heel of his hand. But if he's able to make the outside shot, it'll open up the, the inside for LaFrenz, Austin Tag, and also Scott Fowler. Made in the lineup. Williams will go out for KU, and quickly LaFrenz comes in replacing him. Pass for three. Well off the mark and out in the corner. It looks as though Anches picks up the foul, and he better be careful or he's going to get a technical. That, is that a three-shot violation or a two -y? Depends on whether he was behind the line. We could not see from our angle. But John Anches is being just a little too animated with his emotions over there. And going to take a look at the shot and see if Jared Hass is out of bounds. 
Look at Jared Haas. He actually pulls Anches down on him. And that's why the fans and also Anches was upset. Well, it's seven team fouls and a one and one situation. As you can see Anches continued to back up. And then Haas took advantage of the situation. Did a little acting himself and it both went down. So Anches got to be careful. Second personal foul, 7.29, left until halftime. Shooters need a basket here. They've gone a few minutes, very stagnant without a couple of hoops, and they need to continue to keep this crowd in this game. That's the first two points for Hatch. <laughs> Whistle away from the ball, and LaFrance. Called for the violation. And he's now on number 45. That's a Ray tough proposition for Rafe LaFrance at 6'11 to try to guard Ernie Abercrombie at 6'4 and a half. Oster tag is in, Pollard goes out. And Kansas, if they can, always tries to keep a rotation of having two large bodies in there, at least 7'2 and 6'10 or 6'11 to go with the 7'2. What a luxury to have huh. to be able to bring in one 7-footer, not only one, he's got, Roy Williams has three over there on his bench. Oster tag though, no points and no rebounds so far tonight. And he's only played five minutes in this first half. Oster tag has to contribute when he's on the floor. He's able to change shots or block shots Minor for three. I'd say he's a go-to guy you can depend on. Ryan Miner, you want to get the ball in his hands as much as you can on the offensive end. Pass against Donches, and that's going to be the offense. Watch back on the offensive end. Look at the great pick set on Jared Haas by James Maiden to look free up Ryan Miner. And look at his head coach going down saying that's a moving <laughs> screen. <laughs> Johnny Hodges said to Jared Haas, I got you back that time. The bouncer to Abercrombie. And on the turnaround, he scores it. That's the first two for him. and six rebounds a game. Biggest lead of the night. It's 11 for Oklahoma. Pass for three. LaFrance on the follow. And boy, did it pay to be left-handed on that situation. Not only left-handed, but six foot 11. The ball fell right in his hands, and he kept it up around his ears and was able to stick it back in the basket. The cutter, Miner. What an excellent play. Get the ball on the high post to James Maiden and try to make a quick cut. You have to set the play up and sell the back door first. Then you go straight to the basket. Watch this back door. James Maiden's at the top of the key at the elbow right there at the free throw line. And a nice back door cut by Ryan Miner. But it was an excellent drop pass right in the hands, enabling him to catch the ball. At the shoot around today, that's one of the things that Kelvin Sampson talked about. He said, we got to use our quickness. We got to do our cuts right. We got to use our screens because you only get one chance against these guys. And sometimes even that evaporates. For well, the reason. Kansas is number two in the nation in field goal defense is because they overplay so well. They play the passing set lane so well, denying the ball. That's why you have a chance to set them up and go back door and get some easy layups. Hass knocks it down, and it's 37 to 28. By the way, you were talking about that number two in the nation field goal defense. So far in this first half, Oklahoma shooting 58%. We talked about in the open. No team has shot over 50% against the Jayhawks for an entire game. Minor. And it's blocked by Pollard. Minor for three. <laughs> Abercrombie 
Abercrombie. Can't get it to go. They battle for it. Oh! 